Hey everyone, Robin here. Uh, today, instead of doing some street photography in Paris, we're going to go for a hike to a forest right outside of Paris uh, named Fontainebleau. And uh, we're just going to go for a walk, enjoy the sun, and uh, take some pictures along the way, some nature, landscape photography, and uh, we're going to see how it goes. Also, there's something a bit special about this video. I asked a very good friend of mine, his name is Ash Orphan, if he could come up with the music. He's a very talented uh, songwriter, musician, singer, uh, guitar player, and uh, I think that his music really adds a lot to the video. So I hope you enjoy this. Thank you very much again, Ash, for, for the music, and uh, I hope you enjoy both the music and the video. So here we are in Fontainebleau and uh, today we're going to hike on the striped red and white GR trail that's one of the main hiking paths in France. So apparently this is called a knot and uh, as you'll see on the picture there are really tiny mushrooms on it. I guess this is one of the fun things when you hike in a forest. You can just find any type of people from uh, rock climbers to just like here, people doing group yoga. To me, one of the ways to take good pictures when you're uh, hiking in the forest is not necessarily trying to shoot the whole landscape, but on the contrary, sometimes trying to focus on small things, tiny details like here are this bunch of nuts lying on a rock, and uh, I'm shooting them right now with my uh, telephoto lens. Another way of shooting woodland is to have a subject in it and to show how they interact with the landscape. I've never had the chance to shoot deers or boars in the forest, but sometimes you can still take pictures of other smaller animals. As much as I love hiking in the forest, I find it hard to take pictures of trees themselves. They tend to form this sort of mass where none of them really stand out, except when they do. For this special tree I decide to take the Samyang 12mm f2 lens and uh, I choose this one because it would include also the foreground, the rocks that you're gonna see, as well as the tree itself.
I'm kind of struggling on this one and uh, there are the rocks in the foreground but there are also the other trees in the background and so what I decide to do both with this lens and with the drone afterwards is to take several shots and stack them together as a panorama on Lightroom afterwards in post. So this is the drone shot and let me know which one you prefer in the comments below.